Hello everyone, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a servo motor in Roblox. Here in my workspace, you can see I have a wall, and I have a wall too, and I have a door. First thing I want to do is I want to move my wall out, further out away from the door, so I can place a hinge constraint in between. So the servo motor is inside the hinge constraint. Now go to your model menu tab and in the constraint section here, just make sure your constraint details are turned on and click on the create select hinge. We're going to place the first attachment on the wall. Our second attachment is going to be placed on the door, on the side of the door. All right, so now I have the two attachment placed and in between here, I have the hinge constraint. My wall has attachment zero and a hinge constraint, which is this line here in between. And on the door, I have attachment one. Let me now zoom in a little bit so we can see better. And now I'm gonna select attachment zero. I wanna rotate it uh, 90 degrees, so it's standing vertically, right? So I'm gonna select my rotate here, check that box, make sure it says 90 degrees here. And then we're gonna click and rotate we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to do the same thing to attachment one. Select attachment one and rotate it 90 degrees. The, uh, the hinges are standing vertically, pointing down, both of them. Let's now select our hinge constraint, which is on the wall here, and go to the properties window. We're going to scroll down, actuator type property. The default is none. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select servo. Now you can see we have a few more properties popping up for the servo. The first one is the angular responsiveness. I'm going to set that to 200, which is the max. So I want my motor to move really smooth. So I set it to 200. The next one is angular speed. That's the, the, the uh, speed of the movement. So I'm going to set it to 0.2 the door is going to move pretty slow. 0.2 is pretty slow. The max torque is the, um, the strength of the motor. I want it to be extremely strong, the motor. So I'm going to set it to 1 million. 1 and 6 zeros. 1 million. And the target angle. Right now, um, you see the blue bracket is right here. So that's at 0 degrees. I'm gonna set it to 120, hit enter. And you can see that the, the bracket, the blue bracket has moved from here to here. So that's gonna be the, um, the movement of the door. The door is gonna move from here and it's gonna move until it reaches this bracket here. That, that is the target angle. Once the door reaches the target angle, it's gonna stop. All right, so we're all done there. I'm gonna click on move. I want to move my wall back in all right so the two attachments are at the same location and now we can play and take a look there's the door and it started to move nice and slow until it reaches the uh, target angle which is 120 degrees then it stopped let's go back to studio now and we're going to take a look at the script but first, I want to click on my hinge constraint and I want to reset my properties here. So angular responsiveness, I'm going to leave it at 200. Angular speed, that was pretty slow. The, the door moved pretty slowly, right? So I want to change it to, to 1 to make the door move faster. The max torque is 1 million. That's fine. I'll leave it the way it is. And the target angle now, I want to start with zero. So I want to start with the door staying still, stationary, not moving, right? Until I script it to make the door move. So I'm going to start with target angle zero. Now we're going to go to the door and we're going to add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring the door. So 
basically the script is here. So the door is script.parent. And then I'm declaring the hinge constraint. To get to the hinge constraint, I have to go to the game workspace, wall. And under the wall, we have the hinge constraint. So the hinge here is referencing to our hinge constraint here. And here I just have a touch event for the door. When something touches the door, I want to make sure it is a humanoid, which is a character, a player touching the door. And then if it is a humanoid, I'm going to turn off the can't touch property of the door. So I only want to record one single touch at a time. And then I change the target angle. Remember we set it to zero. So now I want to change the target angle to 120. So it's going to go from zero to 120 and it's going to wait for seven seconds. And I change it back to zero. So the door is going to open and it's going to stay there for seven seconds and then it's going to close back to the original position. Once everything is done, I turn back the can touch property of the door so that now we can touch the door to have it open again. So I set it back to true. All right, let's play and take a look. There's the door. So it's stationary, it's not moving right now until somebody touches it. I'm gonna go and touch it and there it's moving out. I can go through the door now and we're going to wait for seven seconds for the door to close and there it closes on its own. It's automatic. I'm going to go and touch the door again and it's going to open again and after seven seconds it's going to close. And everyone that's how you use servo motor in Roblox.